County Board are voicing opposition to the size and cost of a new jail and sheriff's office. Supporters of the multi-million dollar project say the need is there as the current building continues to deteriorate and become unmanageable, costing taxpayers more in the long run. KCRG tv 9s Libby Randall has both sides of the debate tonight. The idea that we would even expand mental health care in the jail is absurd to me. A lengthy discussion between supervisors and the Johnson County Sheriff served as what they're calling a springboard to further talk about building a new jail. Really what we decided or what we came to is um, we'll be have, definitely having more conversations about this as we go forward with the county. All of the supervisors agree there needs to be a new facility, but just how big it is and how much money should go into it is still up for discussion. We're at that point where we need to make better better and more responsible decisions with the tax dollars. Uh, obviously there's concerns from the board about things like uh, bed size in the jail, what's the appropriate scope of a facility that meets the needs of the community, and these are good things to talk about and uh, we'll continue to have robust conversations about it as we go forward. One supervisor questions the data that was used to develop the model created to show what the county needs. Uh, there was no demographic data, uh, some of the tables were uh, missing, and um, the, some of the data wasn't going back far enough. When you're doing projections, that actually really does matter. While critics agree there needs to be an updated facility, they also say they want the county to work towards an environment where a 140 bed jail is not needed. The reason why these bonds have failed is because we are a different county. We believe in the reduction of the people that are going into the jail for a reason. We've invested in those programs, and by your own recommendation, we should continue to invest there. In Iowa City, Libby Randall, KCRG-TV9 News.